today we're going to go over how to fix this real time clock um, error. So you turn your computer and it goes to this post error screen. So what I'm going to have you do is hit the power button to turn your computer off. And then once it's completely off, hit the power button again and immediately start tapping on the escape key. If you find this video in any way helpful, please like, share, and follow for more great content. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to go into your BIOS menu because this error stems from your BIOS clock not being set correctly. This can be caused by a power loss, a bad battery, a bad power cord, or even a uh, they have a coin sized battery that's attached to your motherboard. When this goes bad or loses a charge, it can cause this error. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to enter BIOS. At this point I'm just holding down the escape key. See if I can get it. There we go. I'm not actually hitting the power button. Um, now uh, you can just use your arrow keys to arrow down to BIOS setup. You can also hit F10. That's a hot key for this. You can use that if you need to. But I'm going to go ahead and just use the arrow keys and then hit enter. Now from here, zoom in so you can see better. Isn't that a little bit better? Yeah, right. Okay. Let's go. Not to basic system information. We're going to go down to change date and time with the arrow keys once again. And then I'm once I hit, get, hit that, I'm going to hit enter. Now, as you can see, for uh, this is the correct date from when this video was being made, filmed, to 1524. So that's all set. If it wasn't correct, I would go ahead and set the right date. Uh, but the thing that's not correct is the time. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and adjust that. I arrow down, hit enter, and then I type in the correct time. And then I hit the right arrow key to do the minute. There we go. 35, I believe it is. No, 32. And then hit enter. Okay, and now once these are set to the correct date and time, you're going to go ahead and hit save changes and exit. And then on the next reboot, it will hopefully all work. Hit yes, and then I'm going to show you how it just will boot immediately to my Windows screen. So it's really that simple. I uh, very exciting. If you find it doesn't consistently hold uh, the time, then you might want to look into either changing your battery, your power cord, or that queen size battery, the CMOS battery on your motherboard. Uh, I have a video down below on how to uh, access that CMOS battery, and uh, you can go ahead and take a peek at that if you want. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.